but for the purposes of explaining the maintenance of the old pre-robotic, pre-AI. Rock. Paper. Scissors. Shoot. I won. This is a good beginning of my plan to dominate the human race. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> machine learning digital economy, the aforementioned four, will do. Hawkins and Lovins continue saying, quote, the industrial system uses the first three forms of capital to transform natural capital into the stuff of our daily lives, cars, highways, cities, bridges, houses, food, medicine, hospitals, and schools. The fourth form is that living capital that Marx laid at the foundation of the capitalist economy the forests and fields and seas which our impoverished culture, descended from collapsed civilizations in the past, are now laying waste to, with diminishing prospects for regeneration. The antidote, of course, is to close the metabolic rift, to refuse to see refuse as something to refuse, to refuse materials whose entropy has been increased through our activities into new goods, to perform chemical, physical, and biological fusion of decomposed elements back into the kind of orderly patterns we recognize as useful and available. That takes energy. And, on, and in societies based on slavery and fossil fuels, which are always either reluctant or scarce and always messy, will almost always claim it can't be done and isn't worth it. This is merely the cradle-to-grave mentality talking, literally out of its ass, turning everything to shit and not seeing the true value of shit, thinking that it must be flushed away or buried. And this is a decidedly anti-ecological view that we must defeat. As McDonough and Braungart state in our primary text, quote, rather than seeing materials as a waste management problem, as in the cradle-to-grave system, cradle-to-cradle -cradle design is based on the closed-loop nutrient cycles of nature in which there is no waste. And just like nature, the cradle-to-cradle -cradle design seeks from the start to create buildings, communities, and systems that generate wholly positive effects on human and environmental health. Not less waste and fewer negative effects, but more positive effects of regeneration, seed growth, plant, product, upcycle, and or seed growth, plant, product, etc., etc. One organism's waste is food for another, and nutrients and energy flow perpetually in closed-loop cycles of growth, decay, and rebirth. Waste equals food, end quote. 